What is up guys, Fahir here from awesometoots.com and I know that it can be hard to create your own assets that you want to use to create games and it's even harder to find some cool assets online and the ones that are really good, they cost a lot. So here at Awesome Toots, we decided that we want to create tutorials to show you how to create your own assets. Of course, this is the first video, so we're going to start simple by creating a simple loading bar. I have already the tutorial for that, how to use that same loading bar in Unity. So I will put the link in the description below anyways. This tutorial is not done by me, it's done by my very good friend who is also a designer and he is with Awesome Dudes from the very beginning. Basically all the 2D assets you see in the tutorials on my channel, he created them. So yeah, thanks to him and also you say thanks to him. Anyways, you will also find the project, the link will be in the description below. If you want to see more videos like this because I told him to create some videos to show you how to create backgrounds and videos to show you how to create characters, we will even have some complete tutorials like one video tutorials creating a bunch of assets for uh, games. So it's gonna be cool to show love to this video by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to the channel, hit that notification button and Enjoy the tutorial. I will leave you now with Kabir. What is up guys? Kabir here from awesometoots.com. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this cool gothic style loading bar in Photoshop. So let's see what this loading bar contains. As you can see here, this loading bar is compiled from glass texture, text, and here we have a frame and this orange fill color for loading bar. So let's get started. Let's work on that loading bar. Go here on file, create new. So we're going to work in 9020 by 1080 because we're going to create that for horizontal screens on your phone. Click create. So when we create the new document, I'm going to go here in rectangle tool. So I'm going to use this rectangle tool to make a shape for our loading bar. So create something like this. make it to be in center right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in properties if you don't have these options go here in Windows select these properties here and it's gonna be on so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make this shape to be rounded and change the color so go here in color picker and I'm gonna type the hex code FF734D so this is the orange color of that loading bar fill. And after this, I'm gonna go and duplicate this layer. Go here, turn off this solid color or this fill color. And go here in stroke color and pick up the one of those uh, gray color. Or we simply can go here in the color picker and I'm gonna type 70 70 70 click ok also we can change the thickness of this stroke so I'm gonna put the 26.22 pixels and that's it I'm satisfied with this options over here so right now go here in FX and click on blending options so here in this effect panel, I'm gonna check these three boxes over here. One, two, three, the bevel emboss, counter, and texture. So in this bevel emboss, we're gonna change the depth, the depth of these textures. So I'm gonna type 168. On size, we're gonna put the 35. And the softness is gonna be zero. And shading angle is gonna be about 90 degrees and the altitude is gonna be 53 so this glass counter is gonna be like this this here I think this is it yeah check that uh, screen highlight mode is gonna be on screen white color opacity 59 and shadow mode Blending mode is going to be multiply, color black, and opacity 69. Alright. So the next thing, what we're going to do is going to go in counter. 
and change this counter graphic. So go in there and find this here and change the range of that counter. Put, put it to be on 20%. So I'm gonna put 20% and you see here we have that shadows over there and we have that depth already but we're not done we're not finished yet go in texture find in texture over here on pattern uh, click on that box go here in settings and find the grayscale paper and click ok I already done that before so now go here on this fiber one and click on fiber one and we're gonna change the scale and depth of that pattern so I'm gonna put to be that the first scale is gonna be uh, 77 and the depth is gonna be a minus 34 okay and click OK over here and now we have that cool rough metal texture so the next thing what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go in this rectangle and create a new layer and with alt key on your keyboard and between those two layers put your mouse and click between those two layers and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go, go and use a brush brush tool and find something like a rock brush or something like that and go here in color picker and I'm gonna type E0 41 and this is gonna be our second color and now everything what I do is gonna be inside of this rectangle so I'll create something like this so I created like mountains in there so right now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go and select those two layers and convert to smart object and I'm gonna type here fill loading bar okay and right now I'm gonna create a mask and add mask here on this icon and go on brush tool and select a branch over here so select branch select this mask layer and go here in brush tools uh, brush settings I'm sorry and disable this dull brush and rotate it So the next step is working with text but before that I'm gonna go here and change the name of this rectangle and type a frame okay and make group and type here loading bar okay change color if you want okay so go here in text and type loading and three dots okay change color you can make it make it to be something like gray here white all right change the font sorry click here my Bolton make it in center and now again we're gonna add effect so go here in blending options so we're gonna check bubble emboss counter uh, setting uh, gradient overlay and drop shadow okay 
let's start with the bevel. So over here we're gonna type 230. Below is gonna be seven and two. This is okay. Here in gloss counter, we're gonna change into this. And here on screen, we're gonna go scroll up on 100% and on shadow mode, shadow mode is gonna be 70. Okay, go in counter. So here, we're gonna change this graph into this and the range is gonna be 26. Okay, in satin, we're gonna change the blending mode into the Y with light. Where is Y with light? Over here, okay. Color black, opacity is gonna be 50% and distance is gonna be four and scale 10. And also change this counter graph in to this one over here. And going to gradient overlay, going to the gradient, going to the screen mode over here. Okay, opacity is gonna be 47. And the scale is gonna be 150%. Okay, drop shed over here, make it a scale distance over here, size a little bit. All right, after this, I'm gonna create a new layer again, make a clipping mask on this loading and use brush, soft brush. And um, make it black increase the size of that brush and go down like this and change blending mode to multiply and also you can play with this opacity over here 90 percent is going to be okay so the last thing which we're going to create is a glass texture so i'm going to go quickly here and create this group and say text go in loading bar duplicate this frame put it on top sorry Put it on top and go in properties and turn off the colors. So right now we're gonna go in effects and change some values over there. So let's go on that. I'm gonna put 147 for size. I'm gonna put 73 and 16 for softness. And on this glass or gloss counter, I'm gonna change into this one. Screen mode for highlights mode and 40% of opacity and shadow mode, 32% of opacity. Turn off this texture box over here and go in counter, change into this graph and type over here 23 okay and click ok over here create a smart object okay go in there in that smart object and i'm gonna create the solid color because i want to see what is happening over there on that on that glass so after this, I'm gonna go in open and put my glass texture scratches over there. So put it there. All right, make something like this. Okay, but before we put the blending mode of this glass, we need to create the smart object for glass. And after that, we're gonna create a clipping mask 
on that glass. Okay, and I'm gonna create a new layer and use a brush tool to create the highlights. All right, go and filter, blur and gaussian blur. Okay, 8.6 is good. Change the blending mode to overlay. Duplicate this layer. Uh, rotate it. And put it here in another angle. Now I'm gonna create a solid color to be invisible and click to save this layer. And I go back in our layer. Okay, put it back, scale it down a little bit. All right, use the Alt key or Shift key and bring that edges in there. All right this edge here and I forgot one step over here so we're gonna do this quick so here in frame I'm gonna duplicate this layer and say frame shadow okay and put it below and right click and clear a layer style and I'm gonna go here and change the thickness of this stroke and change color in black okay and scale it down with shift and alt key go and filter blur gaussian blur convert to smart object okay and put 4.5 and click ok and now we have that inner shadow in there so we can change the blending mode in multiply and opacity put a little bit down so the last thing what we need to do is to create the sprite sheet from these layers which we are created before so i'm gonna go here and delete this background click c and crop this image like this okay and go in file script i'm gonna give you this script in link below export layers to files set your destination file and click run wait a couple of minutes and it's done and there they are so we have this all files which were created before in photoshop exported in png and you can work with them in your game okay guys that's it for this video i hope you like this video if you like it leave comment and like and subscribe for more videos thanks for watching and see you in the next video